All right, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. It's good to see you. Good to have you watching. And it is a Saturday night. I just took Foki for a walk, and as I was coming back up to the house, I saw the post office van parked next to my house, filling up my mailbox. Usually they don't they don't come on Saturdays, and I really wasn't expecting this to come. And I'm pr almost positive I know what it is, and I'm very, very, very much looking forward to this. I wasn't expecting it to come so early. So let's open it up. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already looked down there, make sure you are subscribed. And my Instagram is duties underscore daggers, if you'd like to go over there. Oh, I hope it is. Pretty sure it is. This is a big one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ooh, Microtech. You don't see a lot of Microtech boxes on the Duties Daggers channel. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just get it right in. Oh, shit. Is that what I think it is? Is that a Ramlock Stitch? Oh, ho, 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 baby. It's so big. Holy shit. Oh, man. So, I was not really expecting to buy this. But I just happened to be at the right time when they were in, in stock. And I couldn't resist. I've wanted to try this for so long. This is the Fluted G10 version. Two-tone blade. Look at that. The ultimate test. I want it to reverse flick well so badly um i tried the msi which is their other knife with the ram lock and it was so incredibly mushy it was not fun to reverse flick at all um so i'm really hoping that this one has a little bit of a snappier flick so let's try it here we go okay nah not super snappy but not bad let's get a feel for it here wow holy crap this thing is a weapon Holy shit. This thing is an absolute weapon. Alright, it's definitely a little snappier than MSI. You know, it's a crossbar style lock, so it's never going to be as snappy as something with a detent. Um, but actually, this is much easier to reverse flick out than the MSI. Can I thumb flick it? Yeah. Just gotta get the hang of it, you know? It does make a really nice sound as it closes. That's a nice loud click. What is that? I think it's just hit that hitting the stop pin. Look at that stop pin. It's got little grooves in it. That's interesting. So the ram lock is is it acts it acts like an axis lock, um, but we have a coil spring instead of the omega springs in there, which is really excellent. The omega springs have um, they've always been a little bit uh, untrustworthy because they do just randomly break sometimes. So very cool to not have to worry about that with this knife. Um, pretty thick blade stock, but actually I was just watching review comparing the uh, you know this one the manual stitch to the automatic stitch, and this one has much thinner blade stock than the auto, which is crazy because uh, this is already pr relatively thick. But apparently the auto is much thicker than this, so this is not going to be a slicing machine. Um, but obviously we are going to do a cut test with it. Um, it's not like, it's not unreasonably thick behind the edge. Um, I mean, talk about a sharpening toil. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty good. Yep, a lot of room there. Jeez. Um, very pronounced tip. Pronounced tip. I kind of like that logo right there. What is that? A, the mark? I don't even know what that is. 
but it looks badass. This thing just looks badass as hell. Like, one of the most wicked looking knives ever, probably. I mean, besides the the Borka custom stitch, this is an absolutely wicked knife. Um, I like this so much better than the MSI. You know, the MSI is big too, but this feels like it's supposed to be big. The MSI felt like they took a perfectly good normal size knife and they just blew it up bigger, if that makes any sense. This feels like it's supposed to be this big. The MSI just felt weirdly big. Um, I love all the huge hardware on here. Look at that. That is a huge Torx. I don't know. That's not a T8 or a 10. That's higher than a 10. Yeah. Let's see. Is that a... Here's a 20. It's a Torx 20. Holy shit. That's awesome, dude. And what are the body screws? They're going to be T8. Yeah, all T8, even the clip screws. Yeah, look at these big old screws. Now, I was talking to Jason, who also got one of these, and he was saying these clip screws are a problem. Uh, his his, his uh, pants seam was getting caught on those screws, which is unfortunate. I like how they look, but that was not a good idea, putting those under the clip like that. That's just a, a seam snagger. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully there's a way we can replace those screws with something with a little bit of a flatter head on them. Um, huge titanium backspacer. That's cool. Is it titanium? Yeah. That's the only thing that's, that's titanium on the knife. Everything else looks to be stainless. Everything has a really nice uh, kind of dark stone wash over everything. The hardware, the backspacer, the clip. The clip looks nice. Um, I'm wondering if this will be a, a hot spot. Let's see. Yeah, I can feel it. I don't think it'll be a crazy hot spot, but I for sure feel it. I feel this little point um, in my palm. But like I said, full cut test uh, coming soon, so we will find out. Blade steel here is M390 MK. It's pretty much M390 that uh, Microtech has just tweaked a little bit. I wonder how this will break in. It is pretty easy to flick. You gotta get it in the top corner of the hole though. You gotta get it right there. Um, it seems like if you get down here, well, you can still get it. It's it's easy. It's way easier up at the top though. Um, for thumb flicking, It's not great, at least right now. The slow roll is probably the most reliable, honestly. Lefty. Let me try my, uh, let me try flicking with my pointer fingers. Once in a while, that works better. Eh. It feels awkward to me. Some people are used to it, but I'm not really. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how uh, how it breaks in, you know. The handle is very comfy, uh, besides that little thing poking you. Um, these are, are contoured handle scales, really thick, fills out your hand real nice. Incredibly generous choke-up spot. I mean, that might be the biggest choke-up spot I've ever seen, <laughs> ever. We got jipping right in there. Um, I like the two-tone blade. I actually really like this this dark stone wash on the bevels, and then or the bevel on the swedge. And then the, the belt sander satin on the flats. I think that looks awesome. They're not all like that. Some of them are just full satin. Um, I, I actually really dig that. That's a very cool look. I like I like this whole knife. I like the, you know, this is the G10 one. Uh, Jason had gotten the aluminum one. Which probably, yeah, is a little nicer. But um, I really dig this. I think this looks absolutely wicked. Wicked as hell, dude. Let's check the measurement behind the edge real quick. <clears throat> like I said, it doesn't feel like crazy thin, but it doesn't feel overly thick either. Four, wow, 14 thousandths. All right. 
15 there, and 18 up, up the very tip. That's not bad at all, dude. I was expecting much thicker. This might actually slice pretty good. I mean, we get a real fat swedge right here, cutting down on, you know, uh, friction as you're passing through the cardboard so it it very well could be a slicer we'll find out how's the edge oh my god oh, okay that is an unbelievably sharp edge holy shit jason said that his was very sharp too like sharpest knife maybe ever i have a little dog hair right here can i even I can feel it grabbing. This is almost hair whittling sharp. Yeah, it's great. It's almost hair whittling sharp. That is unbelievable. I put my fingertips barely on it and I just run them down and it's already, even just that little touch, I can feel it biting into my skin. Unbelievable. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Dude, this honestly might be the sharpest factory edge I have ever experienced. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All the way to the tip, too. God, this thing is going to destroy the cut test. It is. Having a, a, a measurement behind the edge at 14 thousandths with an edge this sharp, yeah, that's going to destroy. Absolutely destroy. Well, cool. Um, you know, uh, obviously, I wish it was a little snappier on the reverse flick, but I didn't expect it to be much better than this, even my, my, my highest hopes, you know. I am perfectly fine with, for what this knife is, having a, this crossbar lock, I am fine with that level of snappiness. Pretty spot on centering too. Yeah, this is sick, dude. I, I you know, I, I ordered this kind of on a whim, thinking that, um, well, if I don't really like it, it'll be real easy to sell because these are in high demand. Um, I mean, as of right now, I'm not selling it, though. You know, unless something comes up and I change my mind, um, I really like this. What an unexpected thing. <laughs> God, this is wicked. All right, I'll stop talking. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Love you guys. Um, please like the video before you head out. I'd appreciate it very much. And I'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace. Adios. Later.